Hello, this is a classic McDonald's cheeseburger. I bought this burger earlier today and if I do say so myself, it looks pretty good and I can't wait to eat this. However, as well as this burger, this is also a McDonald's cheeseburger. There's a big difference between these two, however. This one I bought today. This one I bought a month ago. Now, if you look at them, you can't really tell much difference between the two. So why is that? Hello, welcome to Brain Spill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and I know at the start of the video, I normally say that this is the laziest show on the internet, but you've got to give me credit here. I bought that burger a month ago and didn't eat it, just to show that, so you guys got to be pretty impressed with me. This is probably the most prep I've done for any video so far, so you guys got to give me props for that. Yes, you might have heard of this strange phenomenon before where McDonald's food doesn't rot or doesn't go bad. So we will be exploring this further and finding out why that's the case. It was also a great excuse for me to go out and buy a McDonald's for my lunch today, so yeah, we're all pretty much getting something out of this video. Now, when people say that food goes off, this can be for a fair few different reasons, and it's all entirely dependent on what conditions the food is subjected to. There are thousands of different proteins, carbohydrates, fats, and minerals that make up our diet. Going bad can refer to the effects of bacteria, molds, yeasts, heat, oxidation, exposure to air, and enzymes in the foods themselves. So basically, all food will go bad eventually, but it just takes a differing amount of time dependent on what the food is. And when you have food like this, which looks fine after a month, it does get you wondering what's in it. Why does this last so long compared to a normal burger bun, which might go moldy after a week or so? And really, I mean, without opening the burgers up and just having a look on the outside, if someone gave me both of them, I probably couldn't tell you which was the new one and which was the old one. Some people might say that it's really, really impressive that food can last that long and to make it where it hopefully doesn't go to waste as much. However, other people are a little bit more dubious, wondering if there's a reason why it's not going off. And as a result, is it edible? A man named David Whipple famously made headlines with the fact he had a McDonald's burger for 14 years at the date the article was published back in 2013. The man had originally planned to keep the burger for two months in order to show his friends how its preservatives would maintain its appearance. However, as no man is willing to keep track of his food, he just forgot about it and then two years later, he had found the burger in his coat pocket. It wasn't on purpose. I was showing some people how enzymes work and I thought a hamburger would be a good idea. And I used it for a month and then I forgot about it. It ended up in a paper sack, in the original sack with the receipt in my coat, tossed in the back of my truck. And it sat there for, oh, I don't know, two or three months? So after this revelation, you would have thought, oh, how silly of me to leave my burger in my coat pocket for that long. I guess I should not forget to leave things places every now and again. So he decided to take the burger out of his coat pocket and stick it in the cupboard, being lost to time and space forevermore. What he said about his 14 year old burger was that aside from the pickle that had disintegrated, the rest of the burger appeared fine. There was no odor or decolorization really that noticeable. The madman then decided that he wanted to sell his burger on eBay. And I know most people would probably buy things like trading cards or clothes. I don't really know what people buy on eBay these days, pretty much anything you want, aside from 14 year old fast food items. And again, it gets you wondering, even if somebody does put something like that on eBay, who's actually gonna bid on it? Who actually wants this item? Well, surprisingly, the bidding on the burger actually went up to $2,000. Yes, somebody actually wanted this burger for $2,000. Now, he eventually took down the listing, mainly because he wanted to use the burger for educational purposes rather than making a quick book out of it. Whatever that means. So they pretty much held on to this monstrosity of a burger and decided to show it to their grandchildren to remind them how bad fast food can be and to show them how even after all that time, it's still intact. 
That's what a lot of news articles at the time clung on to, and basically said that due to the fast food being processed in the way it had, it had a lot of bad stuff in it, and that's why it didn't decompose. This was only partly true, and they hadn't actually dug into the details as to scientifically why this happens. However, saying this is one thing, but the big problem is that by throwing out these accusations and these statements about this sort of thing, it really goes down to a problem of people perceiving these burgers as not being healthy. I mean, no, they're not that healthy anyway, but unhealthy for the wrong reasons. The basics of food decomposition generally needs two things to start rotting, moisture and air. That's why frozen food is so good, as the moisture is frozen and the process is essentially halted meaning that it can take much longer than it normally would. This is why, for example, fresh foods tend to go off much quicker because of the high moisture content inside of it. And in the example of our 14-year-old burger, where only the pickle was the one to decompose because that's the only thing which has any hint of moisture inside of it. The reason McDonald's food does not go off quite as quickly is very likely down to the low moisture content inside the burgers themselves. The buns are toasted and the patties are cooked at very high temperatures, meaning that it is a very dry patty once it comes out. The taste of a McDonald's burger comes from the sauce, the onions and the pickles. And guess what part of Davis burger was the only one to decompose? That's right, the juicy moisture filled pickle. Meaning that this is more likely the reason behind the food not rotting as fast as the other food. It's just dry as fuck. I mean, clearly, we buy all the same. Mmm. I think I just made a big mistake. That might have been the month old burger. In fact, the belief that McDonald's burgers were this unhealthy were already doing the rounds. But there was one video from BuzzFeed in 2014 which propelled this theory to new heights when they compared seven burgers from seven different restaurants and put them in jars over a 30 day period. This would be to see how after a month if they spoiled. Spoiler alert! Most of them decomposed like you'd expect, but the McDonald's burger was the one to remain unaffected. This unsurprisingly went viral and the belief that the McDonald's burger was that unhealthy went into overdrive. This was such a widespread rumour in fact, McDonald's even had to step in and put their own statement out just to set the record straight. In the right environment, our burgers, like most other foods, could decompose. But, in order to decompose, you need certain conditions, specifically moisture. Without sufficient moisture, either in the food itself or the environment, bacteria and mould may not grow and therefore, decomposition is unlikely. So, if food is or becomes dry enough, it is unlikely to grow mould or bacteria or decompose. Food prepared at home that is left to dehydrate could see similar results. Look closely. The burgers you are seeing are likely dried out and dehydrated, and by no means the same day as they were purchased. The reality is that our burgers are made only with 100% USDA inspected beef. There are no preservatives or fillers in our patties and the only thing ever added is a touch of salt and pepper on the grill. This was done, I presume, to try and quell the rumour that some strange chemical composition in the burger causes it to do this, and I don't blame them because if there is a rumour going about how your burgers have all these nasty chemicals inside, you'll want to go out of your way to make sure that you tell people what's actually happening here, because otherwise, your brand's on the line. And at the end of the day, nobody wants to be associated with bad press. Unless you're Keemstar or something. Funnily enough, when I was researching for this video, I actually found out that loads of people still decide to sell their food online. They've gone to McDonald's and had a burger for 10 years and then decided to put it on for an online auction. I'm assuming to try and copy what happened previously to make some quick money out of dried up decomposed burgers. And well, you know the saying, one man's trash is another man's six year old McDonald's burger. A Canadian man purchased a McDonald's cheeseburger with the sole purpose of testing if in fact the food would not decompose. And while the burger lost a lot of its moisture and the cheese turned into a more of a light brown colour, he says from four feet away, you would think he bought the meal that morning. Especially because the fries look almost exactly the same. This man must be just colourblind or just blind. I mean, even from four feet away, that doesn't look appetising. 
And also, let me just set the record about something else as well. These, I'm eating these. I'm not gonna let these harden on my desk for six months. These are going straight in my mouth straight away. Except for the one that's been there for a month. As a matter of fact, this guy thought that his burger looked so appetizing, he decided to stick it on eBay for a measly $29.99. He went to Twitter to advertise his stale burger, which said, I'm selling my six year old McDonald's cheeseburger and fries. You know you want to buy them. Get your own piece of undying history today. Originally purchased June 7th, 2012. I love the usage of the terms undying history. He really knows how to sell products and he was so confident in this in fact, he decided to tag all the big talk shows in the US to try and get them to cover the story. Which to be fair must have worked because if it hadn't then we probably wouldn't know about this story. It was reported that the eBay listing had gone up to $58 in fact, but was removed by eBay themselves, citing the reason that the food did not have an expiry date, which is pretty hilarious. So yeah, I could hold on to this burger for another 14 years, but I don't really want to leave it in my coat pocket and find it later after having forgotten about it all that time. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload my next video, be sure to hit the bell button. And if you've got any ideas for what topics you'd like me to discuss next, let me know down in the comments below. As always, sources used in the video will be in the description. Right, time to count the amount of times I said the words McDonald's, burger, and moisture in this video. I'm going to assume quite a few times. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.